previously on Notes from Home. you're here and we have a lot of fun stuff to show you. In last week's episode you saw that we were hanging the board and batten on the mother-in-law suite. Well right after that we gave it a fresh coat of paint of my favorite color Valspar's Ebony Fields. It's the color that we trimmed the front of the house out with and I absolutely love it. It really made the front door on the mother-in-law suite stand out even more. One more quick thing that we did is right to the left of the mother-in-law suite was the original fence from the previous homeowner. I just didn't really like it. It's an old fence, so we tore some of that down and we pushed it back to the back of the house. Eventually, we hope to put a brand new fence in, but for now, I like it a little bit farther back on the house. we finished painting the mother-in-law suite we decided to switch our focus and we were going to start working on the back of the main house so when we bought our house the kitchen had a window that looked into the backyard and one of the first things I envisioned when we bought this house was how pretty it would be to put sliding glass doors all across the back of the kitchen so that we could see into the backyard. And I knew that it would bring tons of light into that dark kitchen. And so it's something in my mind that I've always wanted to do. Uh, so Sai and I have been talking about it. We were making plans. He kind of engineered it. And now it was time before we built our deck to knock down that kitchen wall and install two new sliding glass doors. Don and I are tearing down this wall. We're trying to get 150 inches opening. We're going to have two headers and support it in the middle for these two sliding doors. Um, we're trying to do it sort of on a budget, so we're using these sliding doors. But right now we're having to kind of get some insulation out and we're going to be knocking the bulk of this brick out from the inside and just pushing it out. So that's what's going on. in was definitely a two-man job so we were so thankful that we had our friend Adon from Kentucky back down here to help Cy get this job done. As they were tearing out the wall Cy could not believe how much light it was letting into the kitchen. So in my mind I really wanted to have beautiful steel black steel accordion sliding doors for our back patio for the kitchen but guys those things cost like ten thousand dollars and we don't have that so to get a similar look we purchased two sliding glass doors from Lowe's and we were going to paint those doors the trim black to match the rest of our trim these sliding doors were only about three hundred dollars a piece and they are not a long-term solution so they work right now they're going to give us the look we like and it's going to look beautiful but down the road maybe next year or when we have a little extra money we may invest in some more expensive doors for our back patio
on all day. I had a ton of errands to run, and when I got back that afternoon to see the doors in the kitchen, I could not believe my eyes. Ah, it looks so different. I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Wow. You can see the Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. You guys, look. Oh my goodness. There's my kitchen. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, so now that our doors are in and I absolutely love them, it is time to move on to creating our deck. And I am so excited about this part, you guys. It's gonna be a massive deck that goes all the way across to the back of the house that connects the mother-in-law suite to the main part of the house. And we're gonna be sharing it with you in our next episode. So I hope you join us. If you have not already, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and click that little notification bell so that you'll know when our video goes live. We'd also love it if you'd give us a like and a comment. We love to see what you think about our projects and we love to respond to them. So until then, we'll see you next time.